Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. So if this is your first time, I share all the latest tips, tricks and updates for Samsung Galaxy devices. Now I know some of you might be thinking, didn't you cover some of these features in the last video? And yes, you're right, a few of them I've talked about before, but here's the thing. Some are brand new, while others might have flown under the radar, but all of them make your Galaxy device smarter and easier to use. So whether you're new to One UI 8 or just want to learn something you may have just missed, stick around. Also, before we start, I noticed that only 8.3% of the people watching are actually subscribed. That means over 90% of you are missing out on future Samsung tips and tricks and updates. So if you enjoy this kind of content, please subscribe, hit the like button and drop a comment. Without your support, this channel simply wouldn't be possible. So let's begin. So the first feature is where you can drag and drop to share photos on messaging apps. So with One UI 8, Samsung makes photo sharing faster and smoother. So instead of the old process where you had to save an image, go into a gallery and then attach it to a message, you can now simply drag the photo directly into your messaging app. So this works with apps like Messages, WhatsApp and other supported platforms, letting you skip all the extra steps. So here is an example, we'll go ahead and open up gallery. And from here, let's say you wanna share an image. So I wanna go ahead and share this dog picture. So you can go ahead and drag this. And now you can go ahead and press home and then press on your message app or your WhatsApp. Now go ahead and just drop it and send it off. Now the same thing can be done on WhatsApp. So again, go to gallery, find a picture, go ahead and drag this, press home, open your WhatsApp, and then go ahead and drop this. And then you can go ahead and send this off. So this can be done on gallery. However, you can also do this from internet browser. So here you need to go ahead and open up the internet web browser from Samsung. Now here I've just gone ahead and searched for dogs. Now the old way of basically is long pressing on it, downloading that image and sharing it with anyone on message or WhatsApp. The easiest way of doing this is just going ahead and holding it and then going ahead and dragging it. So now you have the picture. Now press home using your other finger press message app, and then go ahead and drop it into the message. So the biggest advantage here is speed and convenience. You don't waste storage by saving images you don't need permanently, and you can share things in just one quick gesture. So it feels much more natural, intuitive, like dragging and dropping on a computer. So this feature is especially handy if you often share memes, screenshots, or files during conversations. The second feature is where you can use Galaxy AI for writing, so if you're struggling to find the right words, Galaxy AI in One UI 8 introduces a built-in sentence helper. So if you're typing inside apps, the AI can suggest better wording, correct tone, or even restructure your sentence so it flows more naturally. So it's designed to help with everything from casual text to professional emails. So here's an example. I want to go ahead and invite someone to dinner. So I'll just write down, invite you to dinner. Now, as you can see, if English isn't your first language and you're not good in English, you're writing something similar to this, invite you to dinner at 7 p.m. So this sounds very informal. And if you want better wording with correct tone and a good structure on the sentence, you can use the Galaxy AI. So here you can go ahead and tap on this button here, the Galaxy AI button. And here you can go ahead and tap on writing style. Now this will basically go through your sentence and will create you a new sentence. So here with a polite version, I would like to extend an invitation to a dinner at 7 p.m. this evening, or if you want some emoji files, so if you want some emojis in it, invite you to dinner at 7 p.m., dinner tonight at 7, casual, and you're a professional. So you can go ahead and choose anything you like from here. I'll go ahead and choose the professional one. I would like to extend an invitation to dinner at 7 p.m. today. Now, if you have some spelling mistake as well, this can also correct it. So let's just say, for example, information. I'll go ahead and spell this wrong. Now, I can go ahead and use Galaxy AI to correct this as well, so spelling and grammar. And now, as you can see, it's found it, so I wanna go ahead and replace it. So it's corrected my word information. So this tool is a lifesaver if English isn't your first language, or if you just wanna sound more polished so imagine being able to write a confident work email, a thoughtful message, or even a social media post without second guessing yourself. So it saves time, reduces stress, 
helps you communicate more clearly and effectively. So basically you're turning your phone into a smart writing assistant. The third feature is where you can group alarms with widgets. One UI 8 introduces group alarms where you can bundle multiple alarms together inside the clock app. So for example, you can set a weekday routine group with different wake up times from Monday through Friday. Then you can place a whole group as a widget right on your home screen, giving you direct control without opening the app. So here we'll go ahead first open up the clock. And as you can see, I've set some group alarms. So I have one for school, one for work, and one for morning gym. Now you can go ahead and create one as well. Tap on the three dots and then tap on alarm groups. Now here you want to go ahead and add a group. So let's just say night routine. Tap on that. And then you can go ahead and create all the different alarms. Now you have two alarms in this night routine. I'll go back, back. And now we've got all these alarms on. To switch it on and off, just go ahead and tap on this button here at the top right, and that will switch it on and off. Now you've created these alarms. However, you need to go ahead and open the clock app and then go ahead and enable these alarms manually. So let me show you where you can basically add a widget on your home screen so you can basically directly switch it on right away. So to do this, go ahead and long press on the home screen, tap on widgets, find the clock app, Scroll down, find the alarm, tap on that, add it. Now go ahead and tap on this to configure this, settings. And now you want to go ahead and choose which one you want to go ahead and select. So I want to go ahead and select the night routine. So now here I can go ahead and turn this night routine on from the home screen. If I tap on it, this will turn it off. This will turn it on. So if you're a student with multiple class times, a professional with varying schedules, or just someone who needs reminders throughout the day, this is a game changer. You don't need to scroll through the app every time you want to check or edit alarms. Having them right on your home screen means better organization, faster access, and less chance of missing something important. The fourth feature is where you can use the clipboard history. So we've all copied something, maybe a password, a code, or a note, then lost it because we copied something else afterwards. So with One UI 8 clipboard, your phone saves the history of copied text and images. So you can go back and paste something you've copied hours ago, or even last night, instead of relying just the last copied item. So let me show you how to access this. So go ahead and open up any keyboard. So for example, the Samsung messages or WhatsApp messages, tap on the message area here. And here you'll go ahead and search for this icon here. This is a clipboard icon. Tap on this, and this will show you all the things you have copied in your past. So as you can see, I've copied many things here. I can go ahead and paste anything I like. I've got some numbers here. I've got some screenshots here. I've got some quick share links. I've got some more screenshots and more links. So I can go ahead and paste anything I like. I can even pin any items I like on top of that clipboard. So this feature is extremely useful for multitaskers. So if you're working on documents, copying multiple links or juggling between chats and emails, the clipboard acts like a little storage box that keeps track of everything you copied. So no more retyping, no more hunting for old notes, no more frustration from losing content. So it's a small feature, but it adds a huge productivity boost. And lastly, the fifth feature is where you have the now bar on the always on display. So the always on display is already favorite for many Samsung users and in One UI 8, it gets an upgrade with the now bar. So this new bar adds a quick information and shortcuts that are visible even when your phone is locked and the screen is off. So instead of unlocking your phone, you can glance at or interact with essential infos right away. So here I'll go ahead and just switch on a stopwatch and I'll go ahead and start a YouTube video where I want to run it in the background. Now, before we start, you want to go ahead and open up the quick panel menu, tap on settings, go ahead and scroll down and find lock screen and AOD. Now here, you want to go ahead and tap on always on display. Make sure that it's turned on. Scroll down and find show now bar. Make sure that's turned off. So by default, it is turned off. You can go ahead and turn this feature on. Now you want to go ahead and press home, go ahead and lock your screen. Now now bar will appear right here at the bottom. We've got our sp stopwatch playing and we've got our do not disturb on, and we have a video playing as well in the background. So if I go ahead and lock the screen again, I'll see that the screen is being played here. I can go ahead and pause it by double tapping on it. 
We can play it by double tapping on it again. And I can go ahead and see all the status over here. So the now bar makes your Galaxy device even more convenient. So whether it's just checking music control, calendar events, or quick status updates, so you save time by not unlocking your phone for every little thing. So it's perfect for when you're busy or on the go or just want to conserve battery while staying still connected to what matter most. And that wraps up five features you should definitely try on your Samsung Galaxy phone running One UI 8. Some are brand new while others might have flown under the radar as I mentioned before, but all of them make your Galaxy device smarter and easier to use. So if you found this video helpful, please like, comment and subscribe. Remember, only 8.3% of you watching are subscribed. So if you'd like to see more Samsung Galaxy content like this, hit that subscribe button. It makes a huge difference and keeps this channel going. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.